Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just turned the camera on because I finished getting ready and the baby's still napping. We have so much to do today. So first I wanna thank HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. I'm actually gonna be making one of their meals tonight for dinner, so I'm super excited because it is burgers, like uh, what is it, Gouda burgers or something, and this really yummy sauce that you're supposed to put on it. And yeah, I can't wait, I'm like craving it. I shouldn't have looked at what we were having and I like, I wanna make it for lunch, but I'm gonna save it and make it for all of us for dinner. For those of you guys who don't know what HelloFresh is, they are a meal subscription box. You can do it for two people or four, and I've been doing the four person plan because um, I'm living at my dad's right now, or we are, so it feeds four adults, and then sometimes we even have some leftovers. So yeah, and then you get to pick your meals and you get three meals a week. And I actually have a coupon code for you guys, so I will leave it here on the screen along with down below with their link and everything. And it will save you $90 off your first month and get you nine free meals. It's a really great deal. And if you guys have been wanting to try HelloFresh, I highly recommend it. We have gotten HelloFresh for like forever. And yeah, we just really love it. It makes meal planning super, super easy. Like you literally just like select your meals ahead of time and then it shows up at your doorstep. And the meals are really good and well balanced as well. And also if you like enjoy cooking, they're really like therapeutic I find. We've had two meals already this week and they were so good. I have a picture of one of them. I can't remember if I took a picture of the other one, but I'll put them here um, so you guys can see, but they were delicious. Today, I am going over to someone's house to decorate for Christmas. They need their tree done, their banister, and then a couple like wall decor things. And so I need to go to Walmart. Well, I need to get gas. I need to go to Walmart. I need to go to Hobby Lobby. I need to go to TJ's. I need to get over to their house, get it all done, and get home. And I have the baby all day. I have no idea how this is going to go. I already feel like stressed and anxious about it. Um, I've been like anxious all morning because I knew I had to wash my hair today. My hair was uh, disgusting. Like it looked wet. So I was like, okay, I need like a half hour to wash my hair, blow dry and curl. Um, for those of you guys who can relate, comment down below. But if I do not blow dry and curl my hair after I wash it, then like the five days following are just, my hair is just a mess. So if I take the time, like one day a week, wash, blow dry, curl my hair, I pretty much can sleep on it and don't have to style it the rest of the week. So it's definitely worth it to me to like make that a priority. But the baby was just a mess this morning, like hanging off of me during my workout. And I don't know, I put him down for his nap a little early and then he cried and cried and I kept going in and like trying to calm him down, but he just wanted to be held. So I held him and I sang um, Twinkle Twinkle a few times, it's like the only song I know, um, but he does love it. We sing it like every night at bedtime. So I sang that a couple times that did soothe him and he finally went to sleep and he's been sleeping for an hour and 40 minutes. So I'm glad I trusted my gut and I didn't take him out of his crib because he was definitely tired. So I know originally we had said that we were gonna be staying at my mom's for a couple of weeks while we did the renovation on the apartment and all of that. So just a really quick update for those of you guys who might be new to my channel. We sold our house and we bought a two unit apartment, which is a flip. So we are renovating that. During that time, we are living at my dad dad's house. Originally, we were gonna live at my mom's, but my brother and his girlfriend and their dog are already there. And we just kind of didn't want like too much going on in the house because that would be two dogs and five extra people. So. Anywho, we decided to stay at my dad's where it's just there's like more space and less people. So yeah, then once we move into the apartment, which is hopefully by the end of January, hopefully, and then we're going to live there until our house is built, which will be by the end of the year next year, hopefully in the fall, and, and we can move into our new house. So um, I'm not going to talk about our house plans or anything until we like really get into that process. I just feel like I need to take it step by step, and I want to share it with you guys step, step by step and um, just kind of like share it as we're going along. So right now we are pushed back on our closing date with the two unit apartment. So we're waiting until we close on that, which is this month, but it's like right before Christmas. So we'll close on that, renovation start, and then we'll be moving in. I'm gonna start the car and make sure that I have everything packed, make a list of what I need. <laughs> Sorry, watch yourself. You're so funny. <laughs> He's 
a kitty under there. Look, pet the kitty. <laughs> Gentle love. Easy. No, don't hit. Gentle. Where'd the kitty go? Go on the other side. He's falling for us. I know. Hi. Okay, go ahead. So I wanted to just show you guys a quick finished product of the banister that I decorated. Um, so the garland itself is from Joanne Fabrics and then I added a lot of kind of like florals and ribbons and things like that from Hobby Lobby. These two wreaths are from TJ Maxx and we plan to hang them on these double doors which I think will be gorgeous. So when I got home, I made dinner and I was making this HelloFresh meal which was out of this world. Like, literally out of this world. It was the best burger I've ever had. My dad actually said it was one of the best burgers he's ever had and Kyle agreed as well and they are both like people who have had a lot of burgers. So yeah, these are all of the ingredients. They send you absolutely everything. They make it so easy. Any condiments, spices, anything like that that you need other than salt, pepper, and olive oil, they send you. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut up all of these little potatoes to make some little like french fries and the kids were super interested in what I was doing, probably more because I was filming. Um, but yeah, it's always a struggle doing dinner with kids, but it's fun and they enjoy it. So we just did our best. It did make the meal take a little bit longer, but in general, HelloFresh meals take about 30 minutes. So yeah. So I just cut up the onion, the garlic, all of that. I am just oiling up this pan for my potatoes, kind of throwing those around using the smoked paprika along with some salt and pepper and throwing those in the oven for a little bit. That is super easy because then while those are in the oven, you get to make your burgers. So I'm throwing my onions in a pan with some olive oil and I had to separate them. Um, so I was doing that and then just kind of cooking those up and caramelizing them. While those were cooking, I started on the burgers. So I put the pork in a dish along with some onion. So I cut up the second onion that they sent and threw that in along with the garlic. I wish I had a garlic mincer, mincer is that what it's called? Um, but I didn't, so I did chop that up. So it was pretty big pieces of garlic, but it actually ended up being really, really good. So then while the burgers are cooking, I'm cutting up the rolls and then buttering those right after the burgers end um, or are finished and I put some Gouda cheese that they had sent on top of the burgers. I'm telling you guys, my mouth is like watering just talking about these burgers. Definitely going to have to get these again. Then they had this sauce recipe that was like sour cream, a little bit of mayo, and some seasoning, and it was unreal. Like, I cannot even tell you how good this was. Such an amazing combination. So I'm just plating those, throwing everything together, and yeah, highly recommend this meal. I did want to mention that if you have dietary restrictions or you're vegetarian or something like that, they do have meal plans to pretty much apply to anybody. Um, so this was obviously more of an indulgent meal, but they do have a lot of healthy options. And this one was still healthy because it was made at home. You know all the ingredients in it. And yeah, so worth it. And a Braxton kiss. A big one. And a Braxton kiss. <laughs> Whoa! It's not what <laughs> My hair? Does it look funny? You don't like it? Do you like my hair? Ow, don't pull it out! <laughs> So exhausted. If you hear something banging up, because the baby's crib is like right on this wall, that's why I'm talking super quiet. Um, we got home around like six o'clock or so, and we had been out all day long. And the decorating was just like exhausting because Knox was like a ping pong ball, and it was like literally every single time I did one thing, I had to then run and like do something for him or make sure you know help him or like whatever so I just 
I won't try to do it all again. It was honestly way too much. Um, I don't know if it's just because I'm pregnant, so like I'm tired and I already feel like I just can't keep up. But today was just like way, way, way too much. But I'm completely exhausted and I need to wash my face and like get ready for bed. It's like 7.30 and I just want to lay in bed. So I wanted to talk to you guys about something that I haven't mentioned on my channel. Um, I don't think, and I may have mentioned it, I have like fake snow and glitter in my hair, but I may have mentioned it with my pregnancy with Knox, but I had really bad um, like acne on my chin and stuff with him, and it's like the kind that's like painful and they're like really big and it's not like something that's easy to get rid of. Um, and I struggled with it my entire pregnancy with him, and then I also like And I just recently found something that has pretty much completely cleared my skin. This pregnancy, I wish I had like taken pictures because I, I generally have makeup on. Like I like to do even just like a five minute makeup almost every day, even though I'm staying home. So generally I have makeup on and I was like covering up all the acne, of course. Um, but I really wish I had taken pictures so that I could do like a side by side in the difference that this has made on my skin. I swear if you are struggling with acne or hormonal acne, which is like the hardest to fight, I feel like because it's like within your body chemicals, um, try these products. So, okay, so you can find some of these products at Walgreens or Walmart. Um, or you can find them on Amazon. So I'll leave Amazon links for them down below. But it is by Alba Botanica, and this is their Acne Do, um line. So they have a deep pore face wash, face scrub, and then they also have a toner. My toner is coming in the mail. It should be here pretty soon. I ordered off Amazon, but it was like on back order or something. So just, just this alone, I used this for two or three days, saw results like instantly, like my skin started to clear up. So I'm telling you guys, I was breaking out of my chin, like every time one would start to clear up, I would literally get another one like overnight. And I'm talking like big painful breakouts. So I don't think it's a coincidence that as soon as I started using this, I haven't had a single new breakout, not one. Um, so yeah, I use this at night, scrub my face or wash my face really good. And then this um, scrub I keep in the shower and I do like every couple of days. I cannot wait to get the toner because I feel like the system all together, like these three products, um, with the toner are just going to be like out of this world. So it's super affordable. It's not like a crazy price or anything. And this has been the only thing that's really gotten rid of my acne. Like nothing else has cleared my skin like this has. Also, it doesn't have like a harsh smell or anything. Um, it just smells citrusy. It's not a harsh smell at all. And it's, it's super gentle on my skin. Like no burning, no nothing. There's like a little bit of like a cool sensation when you rinse it off but other than that like much more gentle than other products I've used that weren't even geared towards clearing acne so five stars for me I just love this stuff I'm gonna wash my face I'm losing my train of thought I'm running out of breath so wash <laughs> probably heard me talk about the Thayer's toner. This is the cucumber scent. I get it in the facial mist, so sometimes I just mist it all over my face. Um, but tonight I'm gonna put it on a little cotton ball. I like to like flatten my note up because these are cheaper than like the cotton pads. So. Yeah. This was like a huge breakout and then I had so these are all healing like none of these are painful like breakouts anymore they're just like I don't know I get really bad hyperpigmentation after a breakout like I will have a red mark for weeks and weeks sometimes like over a month so yeah but it's like not a breakout at all anymore thank goodness then to moisturize I always go into my clean and clear dual action moisturizer you guys have heard this a million Then, because the weather is so cold here and my skin dries up in the winter, I'm going to be using this Launder Dive-In Moisturizer. This is really good. It's like super creamy, super hydrating, and I love using it 
at night. Okay, on my lips, I've been using my Carmex. You guys know that's my ride or die. And then also this lip gloss from Bath & Body. I love this stuff. It's like super minty and moisturizing. So, yeah. So, yeah, guys, that is absolutely it for my nightly skincare routine. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Thank you again to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. I will, again, leave my coupon code down below for you guys to get $90 off your first month, which is nine free meals. And thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.